Yeah, this is a very interesting um, and robust finding from the empirical research. It is not the external judge's rating or the therapist's rating of how empathic they're being that correlate with successful psychotherapy. We, we should probably stop asking those questions. Instead, it's the client's perception that correlates and predicts successful psychotherapy. So in clinical practice, it's not enough to simply ask the therapist, well, do you think you're being empathic? Do you feel attuned? That really doesn't predict whether it's going well. In fact, the therapist's perception of how empathic he or she may be only correlates 0.3 with client's perception of that. So what we need to do is systematically assess and privilege the patient's perspective on the relationship. That predicts success. Hmm. And how, how, how do we get a sense of that? Of what, in therapy? Yes. How the client is an important to gauge? I mean, is this useful in the therapy? Sure, it's research out here, but how is that information useful in the therapy? In the, mo in the moment, uh, it's very useful to psychotherapy. Uh, and to the respective participants. Research has shown that by asking a few simple questions, either directly in the therapy hour or little questionnaires before or after, improves retention and client satisfaction by about 27%. It's really quite uh, a large effect for something so simple. Um, I ask simply three types of questions. All right, let's hear them. So I would say, Randy, how do you think the psychotherapy is going, meaning that it's a goal-oriented. Are you getting from psychotherapy what you want? Are we moving toward attaining your goals? So that's first. All right. How's the psychotherapy going? Okay. A second question is, how are we doing, meaning the relationship? And by the way, the question doesn't work unless you go like this. How are we doing? Right, right. right. <laughs> and then you want to know about the treatment itself. What would you like more or less of? That is, tower it. So in this way, we privilege the patient's perspective.